Hey guys, welcome back. This is Making Everyday Magic with Shauna. If you are new here, this is our fourth year of homeschooling, but what we're talking about is our fifth year. We're getting ready for next year, guys. We focus on secular homeschooling, and this video is about science if you have homeschooled and homeschool with a secular mindset, then you know that this is one of those subjects that is the real, like, dividing line. History and science. These are the big, the big dividing line when it comes between secular and non-secular curriculum choices. So today I'm going to talk with you about secular science curriculums for homeschool for next year. Before we go any further, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Let me start by saying there are, unlike history, unlike history curriculums for elementary level, there are about 10 million different directions that you can go with science curriculums, even secular science curriculums. There are an absolute ton of them. I am not even going to attempt to talk about a small fraction of them because quite honestly, it's a waste of my time. Like there's just so many, there's no way that I could cover it. Somebody's gonna be like, oh, what about this? And that's great, but that's just not what I'm here about. What I'm here about, I wanna talk with you about what we have been using, what we did use, what we've been using, and then what I plan to use. And that's where a little bit where I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna clear up a little bit of confusion about some of them, and then we're just gonna move on. If there's anything else that you wanna share, guys, write on down to those comments, please share. If you found something that works for you, if it checks the boxes, if it's something we need to know about, guys, please share. Because again, there's like 5 million, it's too many to sift through. So firsthand personal experience, recommendations, I will do anything if somebody has recommended it. Like it is gold to me to have someone's stamp of approval. So if you can tell me it's good, it's great, it's worked for you, guys, right on down in that description box, right on, right on past the description box, right on down to the comments. Let me know. Shoot me a DM over on Instagram. Whatever it is, please let me know. Let's start with what we used. So we did do, started out public school kind of vein in Texas Tech University ISD, and they used just a public school curriculum textbook. Didn't love it. So once we, well, you know, Texas Tech as a whole, you know, we had issues, didn't love it. If you don't, don't know that story, video. Um, so moving on from that, we then went with the Timber Double Kits, which you guys know, love, 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 love them for second grade. So that's when we started with Timber Doodle. Uh, second, my baby wasn't even in, in homeschooling here with us yet. This is our first year of two kids. So we then used the building blocks of science from the Timber Doodle kits. I can't, I mean, I can't even say anything bad about it. Does it cover a bunch of things? Absolutely. Is it bright and colorful and fun? Yes. Is it a hands-on thing? Yes. I just don't love it. Somehow it, despite checking all the boxes, it just feels kind of painful to use. It's like about the only way that I can articulate that. I just don't love it. And I did, I checked with the folks over at Timber Duel and I asked for you guys, cause they've even asked for some feedback. Like, what is it that you don't like? Like all of those things. And so we, I reached out to them just to see like, are, is it changing? Should I wait and see what's available? Like, I super wanna know, I'm super, super interested if you guys, cause obviously they're listening to feedback, which I super commend them on, love that. I asked and they said they did look into it, but they hadn't found anything that they liked better, which I can absolutely understand. However, the building blocks of science doesn't work for us. We don't love it. And I want a science we love, not something that just gets the job done. In my house, we've got two young girls. They both love, you know, all of the STEAM practices. So I am going to keep feeding, funneling that just as much as I humanly possibly can as their mother, as their teacher, as a good parent who wants to foster their love of science. By all means, I want something we love. But there's a few other things that I know I need. So we'll get to that in just a minute. But building blocks of science just wasn't that for us. So from that, what I've done, I did this past year, I took a family study approach 
to their science. And I have a video all about what we've been using up here. It's worked really great. It's been really awesome. And I am in love with family study of science, but also the freedom, like we found out Body Worlds was coming. So yeah, I kind of a little bit dished the plan and we've learned about the human body instead. I like that freedom that comes with a little bit of doing your own thing. So my general homeschool philosophy, I'm a small business owner, I work at home, I have two kids. I need very much for what I do to be open and go. I don't love the curriculums where you have to source all the books and do all the things and, and compile all the stuff and write your own lessons and blah, blah, blah. So I need something that is relatively open and go but I want the freedom of something that I've done myself. So this is where I'm like, oh, so many uh, you know, forces working against each other there. But I think I figured out the sweet spot for next year because while I love what I've done this year, I feel like I could do it a little different, a little bit better. So here is what I know I need. I know that I need it to be relatively pick up and go, but I need it to be exceptionally flexible if I change my mind on what we should be learning or something comes up because being able to do that is part of why homeschool is wonderful. I want to be able to do it with both kids. So, oh yeah, and affordable. I would like some hands-on, but my kiddos are obsessed with Emily's Wonder Lab on Netflix. If you guys haven't watched it, super awesome, love it. I love everything that Emily Calandrelli is about. She's like a rock star, adore her, love her. So if you guys get a chance to watch that, please do, because it's fantastic but I, they love that little like short snippet video where they learn something and then they can actually regurgitate that information back to me, which is amazing. So I think that I have found the sweet spot, guys. I think generationgenius.com is the direction I'm gonna go in. First of all, it is very affordable for homeschoolers. Second of all, it has so much information on it with videos, with, a lesson plan with vocabulary, with questions you ask, with a test, a little quiz at the end to make sure they've gotten everything out of that. But also there's an at-home experiment, an easy at-home experiment to go along with each lesson. The lessons are broken up by grade levels. The lessons are broken up by topic and by subject. I am loving everything I'm seeing. Absolutely everything I'm seeing about this. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm super excited. I'm gonna pop over to the computer, uh, cut away here and show you guys what it looks like. And I mean, it's amazing, like really amazing. Now, before I do that, yes, there are some other things we could use, some other things. And these are just the ones that are really popular. Blossom and Root, nature-based studies. Yes, lots of books, lots of work for a mom. Again, this doesn't, this doesn't, how I'm operating right now. Maybe later, yes, right now, no. So that doesn't do it for me. If you use it, if you love it, that's great. Please share below because that might suit somebody else's style much better. But I don't feel like looking at it, it's going to suit my style. Ditto Oak Meadow. So I just, guys, I, I glossed them, glanced over, didn't feel like that was doing it for me, so I moved on. I didn't get excited about it, so I didn't feel any reason to keep spending energy on that. Didn't get immediately excited, I'm moving on. I'm literally judging these books by their covers and I'm sorry, but just running down what I think is involved there, that ain't it for me, so I'm moving on. Something else, real science, real science for kids, real science odyssey. Did you guys know that those are actually three separate things? Real science is like a uh, textbook style curriculum, I think by a major pub publisher, possibly used in public schools. Real science for kids is like unit studies based on things. And then there's real science odyssey, but real R period, E period, A period, L period. Science odyssey is by Pandia Press by the uh, History Quest people. These are three different things. I think people really get real science for kids, real science odyssey confused all the time, but those are different. So just, just a little asterisk here. Uh, that's different. That's a whole different thing. Anyways, let's pop over. I'm gonna show you the Generation Genius website, show you the pricing. I'm like way excited. So I hope that this is helpful to you guys. It's helpful to me because again, I think this is the direction we're gonna go. Okay guys, so I am just gonna pop on and I am going to show you uh, Generation Genius because it, okay guys, now here it is. It has, it's broken down all the lessons. You can look through 
all of these lessons and find something that works for you. It's K through 12, three through five, six through eight. It's amazing. And if I'm not mistaken, you only need one account for all your kids. As you can see down here, they are uh, produced in partnership with the National Science Teachers Association. They won a, a lot of awards. They will tell you right on their website how they align with standards. Let me click in, let me show you. We will go three through five. I mean, I see here, properties of matter. My screen is loading kind of slow. There is a video, lesson materials. Generate student link as if you have like a classroom and like a set, but we don't have that. Uh, what you'll learn, here we go, discussion questions for before the video with the answer is hidden, but you can click it out or after the video, vocabulary, here's the word, you can click down for the de definition right here, which is amazing. You can come down here, they'll tell you what reading materials, download as a PDF, so then you can print them out if you would like, it will read it aloud to you, breaks it down, read aloud, tells you all of these things with a handy dandy read aloud button. Examples of what they're doing. You can click on these. This is the vocabulary. More discussion questions. Go back to the lesson. Okay, activity guide. This is the simple activity. It is so handy. You can download it as a PDF. It tells you the cost which is amazing. Difficulty level, how about how long it'll take, handy dandy materials, instructions, how and why it works. This is exactly, exactly what I am looking at. There is a lesson plan in PDF form, a teacher guide in PDF form, and then the assessment. So you can come on right down here, online quiz game or quiz PDF. So you can click this and it will take you up to the apps that it helps associate with uh, however you're using it, which Play Live in class is not for us because, well, we be the homeschoolers. So this looks amazing. Now, guys, let's go talk about pricing. That's right, that's right. You can get this for $95 for the year. So it is not only awesome and amazing, it is, cheaper than most full homeschool science curriculum. I am so excited. So I think that this is the direction that I wanna take our secular science in next year. Okay guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. Again, I know there's like 10 million things out there. Please shoot, please share down below whatever it is you're using, whatever it is that's working for you, because people need options, people need firsthand accounts, and people need your information, so please share. Again, this is just what I'm planning to do. I feel like, I'm so excited, I think it's gonna go along and continue more of what we did this year, but be a little bit maybe more structured, maybe just have a little bit more resources at our disposal as far as what we're doing. I'm so excited for this program. I'm excited to get started. I'm excited to use it. I am excited to be uh, taking our secular science in this direction. So as always, guys, I will link it below. I will also let you know how it's going, when it's going, and keep you posted on that because those things are important. <laughs> guys, thanks so much for coming back. If you found this helpful, entertaining, or informative, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Now, for those of you who have stayed through to the end, did you hear that center parts are in again? Did you hear that? One, I don't love them. It doesn't suit my hair, my shape very well. I have a calic over here and a giant one back here that makes that one spot super fluffy. It's like a whirl, so I need it to be over there. But also, girl does not color her hair enough for a center part. And if it looks gray, I'm not gray. It's because I use dry shampoo to try to lighten it up so it's not as noticeable. And then it just looks gray on camera.